Yo, what up everyone? We now hit our first milestone, 100 subs, and I truly appreciate the support you guys are showing. I'm sure we will hit the 1000 mark in no time. To give back to the community, today I will be showing you guys to get your game from this to this. Yes, it's insane how much I'm asked about this in the comment section, which I could have easily put it out just like other YouTubers under a paid subscription on Patreon. But no, screw that. Instead, I will be showing you guys on how to do it step by step. Around 90% of the modding will look like this. You go to next to Cyberpunk section. You choose the category you want. Use the filters and etc. to find the good stuff if you like. But don't overlook the hidden gems as well. Or if you have heard about a mod from a Reddit post or a YouTube video, you can also search it up from here. Now, these are pretty essential stuff I have to mention, but... I'm getting a lot of this and not much of this. And you will be right. The graphics mode you see on my recent videos is called Nova Loot, and it took Cyberpunk 2077 to next level for sure. With the new lighting and updated path tracing on version 2.1, the game looks like a scene from real life. Now, what is a loot? A loot or lookup table is a set of numbers that remap color and tone values of an image, thereby altering this appearance. You want to move up in the world, do you? Ma'am, we are shooting a video here. In the context of tweaking graphics, a loot is used in color grading and other visuals to achieve a specific visual style or mood. What Nova Loot trying to achieve is photorealism, but there are many other loots out there aiming for different styles. But modding a game is not limited to graphics, you can basically tweak anything as long as the game engine allows you to do so. And of course, there could be performance hit from one mod to another, or when they are being used together. Not to mention the insane piece you have to buy to make this work in 4K or 2K. So now you have the idea of modding any game. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on Cyberpunk. Once you have the mod you want to install, in this context, it's normal loot. Just go to file section and download the files that is correct for your case. So I will be downloading the environments and lighting mode from this mod. If I have to download anything additional to make this mod working, there will be a pop-up coming up indicating that I should be downloading those first. But for this mod, I'm fine. There are two ways to mod Cyberpunk. The first one is all manual and the other one is by an app called Vortex. For the manual installations, you just unzip the mods file to your game's dictionary. And it's simple as that. And this is how I do it actually. Unless you know exactly what you are doing or you don't have a crazy internal speed like I do, I will recommend the next method to you. The other method is a software called Vortex. Now, you may argue that it's safer, but not always working as intended. This basically acts as a mod manager and helps you to delete or install new mods. There is a full guide on how to get started with the Vortex app, you can find it in the description below. Alright, let's get back to the Nova Loot. As Arthur mentioned, I can't be using Nova Loot with other environments or lighting mods. If this is your first mod or you have no other mods installed before, you don't have to be worried. Let's launch the game and see if it actually worked. Congrats! You officially installed your first mod. Now, let's go deeper. Let's add Nissan R35, a gun from John Wick series, a hot waifu, and test them all in-game. For R35, I will download the regular file, but you can download the other color variants as well. Then, we go to Baba Yaga and download the variant to your liking. Great! After you choose the waifu to your liking, we can now finish with the last step. But first, we have to clarify one thing before we go any further. This is modding 101. Imagine a blue box. Now this blue box represents the sky you see in the game. Let's say you are downloading a mod which is altering this blue box. Till this step, it's all fine. However, if you add another mod which is altering this blue box again with the other mod, you will either make the game crash or the sky look really weird. Same goes for the color or any variants for the same mod's object. You can't download those two things and change the same box. Now, I will unzip these files to my game folders as shown. Nice, it's just easy. My game is working, I have my R35, my Baba Yaga gun and my... Oh yeah, my wife who had to be in a corporal meeting today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss her in my next video. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Of course, this will help you to get the first step, but it goes hella deeper than this. Till next time. Akman out.